Hello there, welcome to another episode of World of Tanks with Ngani Titan, and we're once again back to the grind. Though not in this particular game. I have resumed my grind, I've started with the poles, I'll be doing a video on it uh, later in the week. Not on the individual tanks though, I've blitzed through the lower tier tanks. But because I was playing lower tier tanks, I to keep up my participation in the summer games, um, I decided to try and 3 mark the Comet and possibly 2 mark the Craft Panther. Because you really need to be playing in higher tier tanks to get decent scores because a lot of your um, points come from uh, XP earned games, from uh, XP earned. So you get a lot of them from sort of making a point. We have to earn 25,000 XP. And stuff like that, and you're not going to do that in tier one, tier two. Well, tier one and tier two are not eligible, but the tier three and onwards, especially with the tier three Polish tank, we'll talk about that later. So we're on the comet, and yeah, I've always liked the comet. Now the comet has been nerfed heavily since the time I played it in a major way. I mean, I've played it since, but you know, only for a couple of games every now and again. I've never actually played it on a major way uh, since, and you really do notice that the um, there was a time when the up the turret, front of the turret, the gun mantel of the, the um, comet was completely bombproof, and now it's no problem to put rounds through the turret of the uh, comet. Even another comet will do it, and the gun on the comet isn't great. I mean, it never was. It would always struggle. I guess heavily armoured tanks and you needed to find weak spots or you needed to be flanking them and ideally it's a ridgeline fighter was his best feature was the gun depression and the strength of the gun of the, um, the gun mantlet however they've removed the strength of the gun mantlet so you now have to be a lot more careful with the comet it still does have the ability to snapshot and lock on particularly if you're top tier um, with top tier, you can get away with just coming over the top, auto aim, shot will penetrate, and uh, you just back off. You're gone before they know you're out there. You know, don't do it again. There was a time like I said you could do it again because uh, it didn't matter if they were pre-aimed; it would just bounce off the gun mantlet. You wouldn't frequently be showing much more than the gun mantlet in the. Uh, in the tank when you were coming over a ridge line, you didn't have to show the body of the tank at all. Because the turret's relatively forward mounted and um, yeah, you get it clear fairly easily. So we finish that guy off with very little health left. Taking any guns out of the game and actually we're doing quite well as a team. Um, we we haven't lost many tanks. And we're hammering away at the enemy, in fact it's quite remarkable um, the amount of damage that I've managed to do given the fact that the team is in such good shape and we've been steadily whittling away enemy tanks and it wasn't well, it was five enemy tanks dead I've only, I've only accounted for two of them so my teammates are uh, doing stuff as well and there's a the panther now is nearly finished now I'm going to watch my flank here because if I pull out too far I can get shot from across the field uh, there's people bound to be poking the ridge line, yes, and sure enough, there's the Caranarvan. So, I do unto him what he might want to do unto me before he gets the chance to do it. So now, that side of the field is clear, and it's just that, what, 53 TP. It's behind the bunker, I can't get a shot at him. The artillery's been spotted. The ridge line, the roofs are hold, preventing me from getting a shot off. Uh, the artillery's been hit once and he's maneuvering around. I'm trying to get a shot through the veranda there. I don't have a line of sight, but he gets taken out anyway. So there's just T28 prototype. And this, I think, this is kind of cruel really. The T28 prototype does not have a full rotation on the turret. So I just get behind him. He cannot now swing the turret around. He has to go all the other way around or else he has to swing the entire tank and that is quite slow. Um, I don't know what he's trying to do to be honest with you. Um, 
because it wasn't working. He'd have been probably better off trying to rotate the tank in situ rather than trying to turn the tank while moving because the tank will probably, even though it rotates, it traverses slowly, it'll probably still traverse faster than it would have um, while trying to make a turn because it turns really slowly. Now the VK101P, as long as he's not looking at me, I can't put around to the front of him. I cannot penetrate the front of his turret, I cannot penetrate the front of his armour. I don't think there's any spot where I can do it on. I can't shoot that commander's hatch because that seems to be bomb proof. I've hit it with bigger guns than this. The side I can penetrate. At least with premium. And as long as he's looking at somebody else, and his mistake here is that he's backed out into the open. He's actually better off he tucked in under the cliff where it'd be harder for me to shoot him and then drove away from me. Either away from the enemy tanks or towards them. Um, just angled his armor and got out of my line of sight. By staying where he is in the open, he's got me plinking away at him. And I might be doing a lot of damage, but it all adds up. And it is quite a bit of damage. I mean, I've managed to farm a lot of damage out of him. So we finish up uh, 16 criticals. That must have been a lot of modules damage. I think this crew, uh, this is a standard crew, so, uh, we did it. We won. anyway, 3,822 direct damage done, 39 ribbons, now immediately 7 or 8 of them is fire damage to a tank earlier on, so yeah, that seems to be the final result, it gives us an ace tanker, I think it gave us a uh, damage standing of around 87, nearly 88% of the time, Although we fell back from that. We came number one in um, experience. And yeah, our team actually did pretty well. The top players have all got pretty high damage scores posted. So I think we could be... Uh, you know, we're It's remarkable, I think, to get that kind of a high damage in a team where, you know, not very, many, very few of our tanks died, relatively speaking. And quite a lot, you know, we wiped out the whole enemy team. Anyway, I expect to see more of the Comet in the near future. I'm quite enjoying it at the moment. I'm also uh, trying to two mark the Craft Panther, so you'll probably see a few games with that. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like and a share. Feel free to comment if you've not already done so. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. I will catch you all soon. Bye for now.